Ah, uh, here, 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 here. Let's look at where is the position of the guy. Oh, okay. This guy is in a zip. Okay. This is the GTFLR itself. I already put it here. So this one, the config that I'm going to put is already aligned. I think that when I look the SCTP handshake and ISP, ASP up, everything so on, I'll try to look what is the routing context. And then I put iPhone, the routing context is 100. Then I put it inside of these configurations. Hey, welcome to Rifki the Cyber. So today, um, I think it's already maybe my last video about the SS7. I made it around two years ago, guys. It's already long time I'm not made the video about I'm not make the video about the SS7. So today I have a good news for you. I'm going to make a video regarding with the topic is SS7. And I'm going to use the tool's name is SS7 Mapper. Uh, let's read the letter of lot of chatty. Let's see what is the repository look like. Okay, guys. So actually, guys, this is is my GitHub basically. But actually, my GitHub is just the step that we are going through later during our video. I'm going to show you. I make. I already make the notes how we can do. Uh, we can set up this uh, environment and we will try to play with this SS7 mapper. So it's, it's here, this is, is the the repository itself, SS7 mapper, which is SS7 mapper is the pen, test, pen testing toolkit that able to trigger the SS7. So if you notice in this case, guys, actually there are so many people have tried this one and they actually facing problems. There are two main problem in this case guys the most predominantly problem from the two cases i would like to say number two is when they already able to success to install this ss7 mapper they don't have the landing server or the target server to testing this one of course your target server later guys it's not allowed to trigger towards to the msc or vlr or the hlr the the place that you're not entitled to do it guys okay so that is illegal. If you want to do some illegal things, please don't watch this. Okay, this is, is really everything should comply and should um, ethic is number one in this case, guys. Okay, please keep everything remain ethic. Number, that is number two. They don't have a landing server to test this one. And number one is, yeah, some of them is also failed when they are already tried to install some requirement. So within these two cases that uh, happen during some of the majority of the people try to install this I'm going to address and solve that issue guys so later you will see how to address these two case and I'm going to show it to you also how to running this no worries sit back and relax and please bear with me in this case guys okay so actually guys this is the original the original of the repository itself this is a blah 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 the, 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 the cafe SS7 member Oh yeah guys, please don't forget to subscribe, switch on the bell, and share this channel to others. And also share this video guys. Okay guys, thank you so much. Oh yeah guys, by the way, this is also requested by one of my subscribers. The name is Krishna Prasad. So he requests, please give, uh, please make video tutorial about how to running this as a 7 member. Okay? So your request is right to fulfill. What about you? Why don't you write it in the comments? Maybe I will make a video for you guys. Okay. Let's continue again. So right now, what we're gonna do, I am going to use my Ubuntu. I have a Intel NOC, a Intel NOC here. And it's already installed with the Ubuntu, okay guys? We will use this server. We will use my everything we will running on my Ubuntu. And also the landing server itself, it will be running in my Ubuntu itself, okay guys? Before we running this, we will set up the landing server or the VLR or the VL, uh, the visiting VLR as the target. This one, if you want to know how I set up everything, you need to watch this. Uh, the anytime interrogations, yeah, you need to go to the preparations. Anytime interrogations, the first video, the part one only, just only to prepare the landing server. Although I'm going to make the landing server based on the location tracking for this, also guys. But how? If you want to know how to install git clone from this but when you want to how to set up this one but no worries we will running the part when i set up the ip 
the part when I already download this from the repository. I'm not using this for the Linux server. I'm using the one that came from this video that I told you guys, okay? So in this case, this is, is my uh, Ubuntu guys, okay? So let's switch on the landing server itself. Go to this and uh, okay, USR, SRC, uh, Siploid, okay? And then uh, testing server attacks. And we will using location tracking. And we will using the VLR, which is running with the sub provide subscriber info. As you already know guys, when any time interrogation is running from the HLR, it's actually the, uh, towards the HLR. Actually, the HLR will forward the request towards to the VLR using the provide subscriber info. Okay? Any any time interrogations that running by the online charging system or running by the GMLC towards to the HLR, HLR will continue with the provide subscriber info towards to the VLR or MSC. So this is, is will be acting like a VLR as a our landing server. Let's see what will be the, the parameter itself. You can see from this one, we can see the this one, the readme instructions. We will running this, okay? So this all is the parameter that we need to build. Okay, we need to create, we need to set up this one. So this one and this one, we will set up the in the loopback as additional IP in this one. And also these configurations, I'm going to put this configuration letter will be reflecting this one in the configuration of the SS7 mapper. Please sit down and relax, okay guys? Let me continue this. I'm so lazy to make IP uh, or I will just make this, uh, for example, uh, 56.101. Let's see, do like this. Okay, so we are going to running this, okay? Okay, of course because it's using sudo and of course I'm going also to create for 102. Okay, until here we are done. Okay, only for the landing server we can switch on right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run in this sudo java jar and then provide subscriber info. Ah. You look at here is already the landing server is already on in this case guys okay initializing sctp stack m3 us stack uh, sctp everything is already on okay now what i'm gonna do i'm going to set up the other one the ss7 mapper in this case guys okay so i'm going to running to my ubuntu ssh uh, rivki i do this is the address Okay, what we need, we need to do the docker. We will using the docker for the Ubuntu in this case. So I think I give you one of the a video about how about the F 5G replay attack. I think in that video, I show it to you how to install the docker, guys. Mm, why don't you check it, okay? In, in this case, we will using the docker. And I already have the docker in this case. It's already installed. So let's take a look what will be the docker image okay is a i'm going to clean up because i i do a lot of testing right because before i make this video okay now i'm going to running this docker image oh, okay docker image list okay this is this is is the one guys okay i'm going to delete this okay i'm going to delete this docker image uh remove Oh, maybe we need to use the sudo for this one. Sudo. Oh, I think I know why. Because I still have container is on using this image. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the container. Okay, guys. Docker PS. So I'm going to remove this one. Okay, there are two. Okay. I'm going to remove the docker. Remove this. And also I'm going to remove the second one. Okay, finish. So we, we we already remove this one, guys. Okay. So this is where home rift key. Let's go to document. In this case, I'm going to use the document. Now what I'm gonna do? I already in the document, and then it's my it, it's the time go to my repository to running this comment. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna do. I'm going to git clone this.
Okay, since this is too long, so I will just going to switch off this one. And I think I already git clone this in the desktop. Same the result of the git clone. And I will go to the SS7 mapper in this case. Okay, guys. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm go. There are two ways to running the Docker. Okay, is using build from the binary itself. So it's there's already binary. And we can also build the image from the build release in this case from the source code itself. So I just do some pra pragmatically things, guys. So I will build the image directly from the binary. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to running. I'm going to go to the Docker bin in this case. I need to go to this one and go to this. Okay, we are here already. This is just for the three structures. No, when I would, I'm going running, I will build using this one, okay? Okay. Okay, it's already done. Very fast because I already, maybe because the catch, everything's on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to running this. This is, this is the step, the next step. I'm going to running this. You can run it, running this everywhere. Now I already inside of the the container itself, guys, okay? I already go inside of the container itself. Now the next is I'm going to copy. I'm going to create another Windows to make it is, this is easy for you guys. So I think I'm going to log in again here. And then after that, go to the desktop. I'm going to using the config. This is, is the configurations that I already have. If you want to get these configurations, you just need to download from this, okay? Because these configurations, this one, the one that I give it to you, I put it here, is actually aligned with this one. See? So if you look at here, uh, uh, point code is already set up one. Point code two uh, for the peer, the remote point code is already two. And 56101, this one. The remote and uh, the local port this two already put it here. But of course, there are something that not put in the hardcore value here. For example, this one. The network, uh, the root, uh, the routing context. So what I need to do is, you know, right? I running my video, the previous one, and then I sniffing that. When I look the SCTP handshake and ISP, ISP up, everything so on, I'll try to look what is the routing context. And then I put, I found the routing contact is 100, then I put it inside of these configurations. You know, what next? Oh yeah, I need to copy this, right? I need to copy this. Using this command, I'm just going to do like this. Docker cp config provide. I'm going to check what is the container code in this case. Ah, this one, okay? Different one, because it's every time it's changing. Docker cp config dot provide and I'm going to put this one and then SS7 mapper and I will copy this as a config config Docker CV config okay good docker sorry okay successfully copy okay you look this one guys okay now I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to try to run uh, here just see it one by one you can look at this and then after that I'm going to running this command console oh yeah before that I'm going to put here here let's running the t-shark uh, t-shark minus i look back I'm going to filter for the SCTP I'm going to using the verbos or just SCTP is enough SCTP okay I'm going to running this oh what happened okay I think I need to do some sudo in this case sudo okay so it is already uh, handshaking, right? The SCTP, right? In it, in it, SCK, cookie, echo, cookie, echo, SCK in this case. Okay, guys, this is great. <clears throat> okay, now what we're gonna do next? Let's check what is the operations that we have it here. 
although I know what we're gonna run because we are using the MSC, but I just want to share it to you the whole operation that is possible in this case. Okay, we can running test MSC, we can run test SMSC, test SMSC, but the setup that already put in for the landing server is for the test MSC in this case, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to running this, and then I'm going to put MSC like this. Anyway, I'm going also to put also the protocol is TCAP, and I'm going to make it verbose. Let's running. Okay, great. Rather than I put the remote desktop using the Wireshark we which is I already showed to you very often, let's using the text sometimes, okay? And this is the same uh, reflections with this uh, with the GUI itself, okay? So this one is actually the T Shark itself, okay, guys? So this is, is the operation name, the profile subscriber info. This is, is the application context name. So it asking, okay, this MC belong to where, okay? And then after that, there are some uh, answer from this one. Ah, uh, here, 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 here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it here. If you wanna see what will be the looks like for the Wireshark GUI, you can watch this, one of my video, this one, okay? That I'm using GUI, but in this case, I'm using the T Shark. Let's look at where is the position of the guy. Oh, okay, this guy is in IZIP, okay? Okay, great, because the landing server of the VLR giving this one giving the location of the guy is here based on this one okay guys that is how we set up the ss7 mapper only the thing guys the chance is to set up the ss7 map the ss7 mapper is actually okay you can configure the gt you can configure the point code you can configure the local port you can configure the routing context but the problem is sometimes it's quite pain when we want to configure the subsystem number you know right for the map ss7 map uh, hlr subsystem number is six ss7 map for the msc is eight those one somehow is not really in the configurations in the file the config that i copy that one you need to go to the release i'm just going to show it to you uh this is, is the, the one uh, look at here so you can look at here guys so how we can set up the SSN? So you need to go to this SSCP HLR, everything so on, and after that you need to build again the application. Of course, you need, you cannot using the binary one, right? You need to use the SRC, the source code, and you need to rebuild it again after that. So this is not, unfortunately, this is not really configured, configured, uh, conf really configurable. I mean, it's really like a. I can say this is hard coded because every time you need to change this, you need to hard, you need to change it hard coded and build it again. Unlike the GT and point code etc., you can do it by just changing this one. Okay, so I think this is this is how I want to show it to you how we can using the SS7 mapper as the SS7 pen test toolkit. And you can see also there are some my explanations about the SS7 stack from this video and also how you can get the landing server from this video. And if you want to see the similar response like this, but from the wire shark, you can see this my my other video, this one or this one. Okay, guys. And if you want to help me, you can treat me the coffee. One cup, two cups, three cups, five cups. You just go to this QR code, this one, or maybe this one. I'm going to put also the link inside of the of the, the description of this video. I think I'm going to signing off. And as always, say in my other previous video, keep learning and stay humble.